Yes, people, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. First things first, guys, make sure you smash a like and make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. Remember, people, that 5,000 subscribers on the channel, there'll be a giveaway for a Chelsea training top of your choice from the upcoming season. So make sure you subscribe. The quicker we get there, the quicker you've got your chance of getting your hands on one of those. And let's dive into today's video, people. And it's not great news. French forward Christopher Nkunku is set for at least two months on the sidelines. And the injury picked up against Borussia Dortmund in Chicago on the final pre-season game of the tour is worse than initially feared. And the 25-year-old is now set to undergo surgery on a meniscus injury in his knee, which means he's probably going to be out for at least a couple of months. He's got one more set of scans to go. Uh, for an official confirmation before we get any official news from the club, but all the Chelsea journalists and stuff is all out there now. We're just waiting on an exact time frame from the club. One more set of scans to go until we do get that. But Nkunku is set for multiple months on the sidelines. Now, last night, uh, Monday evening, Jacob Steinberg reporting, amongst others, that initial hope was that Christopher Nkunku would not be out for too long, but unfortunately he's set to have surgery on his knee after suffering meniscus damage. Um, you know, it's a lot worse than Chelsea feared. Uh, I mean, initially I thought maybe he'd only missed the Liverpool game, possibly the West Ham game as well. But the facts now looks like that he's going to be at least two months out on the sidelines. So we're looking at all of the rest of this month missed. We're looking at all of September missed. Uh, maybe back for kind of towards the end of October, potentially as well. So it is a huge blow to Chelsea. He'd been a uh, star signing that we'd agreed back in November. He'd had a really good preseason amongst the goals, looking fit, looking sharp. And this is going to come as a hammer blow to Pochettino's preparations. And it could certainly alter uh, Chelsea's plans in the transfer market as well. Um, obviously, you know, moving on from that, huge blow for Chelsea as Nkunku is set for multiple months on the sideline. Meniscus injury, further scans expected. Well, we'll know exactly how long he's going to be out of action for. But yeah, it, this, this, is a, this is a hammer blow for Chelsea. It's a real blow ahead of the start of the new season. Of course, we get the news Tuesday morning that Anthony Taylor is going to be in charge of... Uh, of Chelsea Liverpool at Stamford Bridge and it's compounded on top of that with the uh the news that Nkunku is going to miss multiple months um you know it's it's a huge huge blow I, I don't really know what what to say about it I don't know what to say about it um but it, it it means now that we need we need to sign one or two people for the attack now and I'm not saying because someone's out for two months that oh you know we need to go and sign two players we need to go and sign someone to replace him but this accelerates the need for us to go and sign someone. You know, Kunku was that main number 10. He was also going to be an option at number nine as well. We now need to go and find someone. Yes, of course, you know, Chukwemeka can step up. And, you know, he deserves that opportunity to step up. I don't think we can sleep on Conor Gallagher either. I know he's not everyone's cup of tea, but he's had a very good pre-season. Pochettino likes him. He's played the most minutes in pre-season for the club. He could potentially maybe be an option there as well. Could we even look at maybe playing Enzo Fernandez in a number 10 role? And, and having someone and, and having two other players in the pivot, maybe Santos and Caicedo, when he eventually comes through the door. The, these are options available at the club. But the attacking players that we're looking at, I mean, Michael Aliso, for example, who Chelsea are are keen on, are, are discussing uh, the ins and outs of, of, of making a bid for him. Even he's injured and he's not going to be available until sort of end of September, start of October. So even the signing of Elise, whilst it would be great, doesn't really solve the immediate problem where we need someone to fill in that in that number 10 role uh, for the first couple of months of the season. I mean, it, it, it's gutting, but I think for me, the most obvious choice would be Carney Chukwameka. But I think this now does alter a lot of things uh, in, in, in the market as well for us, because I think this now has a knock-on effect on the lukaku Vlavic swap deal. It'll be interesting to see how Chelsea now reacts in the transfer market, because we weren't expecting to have and Kunku missing for two months. I don't think we can get by with literally just um, Nicholas Jackson and a totally out of match practice. Don't know what you're going to get, Amanda Broyer. No other options in that centre forward position at this point of time. So I think it does almost force our hand now that we do need to go and sign an, an, another striker. We do need two other options in attack. Uh, we need a, a, a number 10 slash right winger as kind of hybrid player. And we do need to go and sign an, another striker now as well. Um, I was sort of, of of the opinion that we didn't really need another striker. But now this Nkunku injury news, I think that accelerates us forward. And we do need to go and find another striker. It's just such a big blow though, because Nkunku was a, is a massive part of what, of what Pochettino is looking to do at Chelsea. He's a huge, he's a huge part of... Um, 
of the new, you know, of the, of the new setup, the new formation, and all that sort of thing. He was going to be that main number ten linking up of Nicholas Jackson. We know, we know how we know how good he is. We know what sort of Pochettino has been looking to do in pre-season, how he's used in Kunku. Um, and you know, Poch going with the four-two-three-one, it seems to suit many of you know our better quick players. Uh, and you know, we, and, and you can see already we've quickly built a dynamic, exciting new attacking identity. Um, and we still look pretty s- solid defensively. But, you know, unfortunately, we're going to be missing now in the final third. You know, Nkunku's got a unique, versatile skill set. And, you know, he ignites a lot of stuff in the final third. And now, you know, we've got no- we have- that's now missing from there. You know, he interprets the role with-, with intelligence. He always picks the right moments, whether he drops deep or goes wider to receive the ball. And he always has a knack of arriving at the right time in those best goal-scoring uh, positions as well. So, you know, it's, it's really important. And, you know, he's more involved in Chelsea's play than as a number nine. And he also exploits the bigger spaces that's created by Jackson's constant threats running behind opponents. So, you know, without him, you have to say that the Chelsea attack is, is, is much more loosely connected and we need a strong connection at the top end of the pitch. So, yeah, it's a, it's a real shame. It is a little bit of a concern, um, a major concern, really. And it's just not what we needed, you know. It, Chelsea and injuries, we just seem to have... Just, just the worst marriage imaginable. You know, so many injuries we've picked up. You know, Fafana out for the whole season and Kunku now set to miss at least the first two months of the season. We're looking at signing Elise, who's out injured anyway until like September, October time. So, yeah, you know, it's it's not good news. It's not the news we wanted. And Kunku is really important to, to this Chelsea side. And oh, it's just... I don't really know where we go from here, but we absolutely are set for a busy, busy month in the window, a busy end to the window. And you think that Chelsea now need to go and get another another four players still, obviously, including Caicedo and Tyler Adams. We know two attackers on top of that, a striker and that sort of hybrid attacking midfielder uh, slash winger profile. I don't really know the best. I don't, I don't really know the best way of going about this. Yeah, at least he's a top player, but again, injured and out. Mohamed Kudos, you know, he, he's Ajax and Brighton have agreed a fee, but Brighton have got, you know, a day or so to try and agree terms with kudos to get the deal done. Otherwise, Ajax are not going to sanction the sale unless an extraordinary bid comes in. Could Chelsea go in for Mohamed Kudos? Elise stood on the table. Is there someone else we're thinking about? What's going to happen with the Dusan Blavich, Romelu Lukaku swap deal? Is our need for a striker now accelerated, which it has, but does that now change our minds on on on, on Blavich because we're more desperate? It shouldn't change our, our, our minds, in my opinion. You know, if we don't like Dusan Blavich, then just because we're in, we're in need of a striker doesn't mean that we should then increase our, our our desires to get him purely on that front. We need to be invested in that signing. And I don't think the club are. And I don't think Maurizio Pochettino is either. So, yeah, this is a... Yeah, this is a hammer blow. I'm not sure how Chelsea are going to deal with it. I think it's obviously Nkunku is going to have to... step Is, is going to be missing on the sidelines. Chukwameka's time to step up. Um, and, you know, people calling for Joao Felix to come back. Nah, it's, it's not about that. You know, there's a reason why Chelsea didn't want Felix and Pochettino didn't want Felix. Doesn't work hard enough, doesn't track back enough, doesn't contribute enough. Um, a very, very expensive loan uh, for someone that isn't isn't really up to it, in, 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 in my honest opinion. Talent, yes. Work rate, not really. Defensive uh, play, no, not really. Astronomically expensive, not not worth the money or the fuss in my view. And the fact that he's only wanted by Saudi clubs uh, go, go, goes to say it all. But yeah, Chelsea in a, in a tricky position here with this in Kunku news. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens. No official confirmation from the club exactly on the timescale, but it's expected to be at least the first two months of the season. So let's wait and see how Chelsea deal with this. My bet would be Chukwameka to step in in the meantime, but we need to go and sign another two attackers now in the market. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the Nkunku news. Who do you think is going to step up? Who do Chelsea go and need to sign? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Make sure you smash a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new round here. Remember, 5K, there is a giveaway for a Chelsea training top. So make sure you subscribe. But until then, guys, take care. Up the Chelsea and peace out, people.